is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are playing some Rim Hammer the End Times. We are going to take all these traps out and put other traps in. Lest we get run over. Alright, he's walking on a bloody trap. Uh, I guess we can... now. They all got to come out. I still haven't fixed that. But everything else has been taken care of. Let's make sure Seamus is tended. I think he was. Yeah, he self-tended last time. Alright. Still working on our beautiful. Let's go ahead and make some shields first. So, Ungor, Beastman, Bulgor. Nobody can even make those yet. That's alright. We're going to just make a ton of shields. They all take wood. We have a shit ton of wood. He needs to practice. Now, let's start putting traps in over here. Security, spike trap. And I can't do squat elsewhere until they get all those deconstructed. And once we get our herd stone, it's going to get nuts. That's why we're going to try and keep these traps built. So let's make a zone somewhere over here and let's make that the important spot to keep wood because we're bloody well going to need it there you have it now you literally moving wood from one spot to the other man yeah, whatever it's fine I also want to build a barracks so let's go ahead and Start with floors. So we're going to build a barracks for all the dudes that are going to be effectively out on the road. Murdering people all the time. I'd like to leave some of these trees here, but some of them are going to have to go. It's really just going to be a big tent with beds in it. And we're going to put some fires in there. And now our traps aren't going to get built or deconstructed anyway. At least we have something. They're getting there on the herd stone too. So somebody needs treatment. Seamus. If he needs treatment, we need to pay attention to it. Contend the infection. Oh, he's... Nah, yeah, he's kicking its ass. That's okay. He should tend himself here at some point. Alright, good. Making good progress here. And it's volcanic winter. It's the last day of fall. Did we get our shields? Uh, let's go mess with the work. Oh, I did that already. So Nung Nuck, Num Nuts, should be working here. What's he doing? He's cleaning dirt. That must not, not be the right Num Nuts. Here he is. Nope. Alright, Num Nuts. Smith on a one. Did he make all the bloody shields already? No, he didn't make any shields. Alright, here's the weird thing. Alright. Naghuk. Here he is. What's he doing? Icky okay, is making shields somewhere. Oh, he's chilling out in his room, enjoying a nice <laughs> visit to the fireplace. <laughs> a little bunghole. What are you doing? You're chopping a tree. Alright, we're about to have the herd stone. And then shit's going to pop off with the extra raids and pawns joining. There you go. Now, I will fix this issue with these not being able to be put by other traps. Whatever is going on there. If I can. It might just be what it is. Right? All right. I saw some botch construction, architect, floors, pop some wooden floors in back there. Alright, now, what do we have for material? We have human leather, we have a shit ton of dwarf leather, there you go. So, that's under structure, dwarf leather, beautiful. 
And we're just going to wall this off. Not sure why I built walls under where the doors are going to go, but... Or, er, sorry. Floors under where the walls are going to go. There you go. Alright, and then... Maybe we could do gore hide for tent flaps. Got a couple fireplaces. Fires. Fires down there. Boom. Boom. Uh, animal zone. Does that need to be tweaked? Yes, it does. We are going to send the animals inside zone to up here somewhere. Uh, somebody failed making a trap. Oh, material was wasted. That's too bad. I'm seeing a lot of shields. Which ones are the Ungor shields? These little guys with the thing at the bottom are. Okay. So you, when you're done resting, go equip that. Don't give shields to your dudes that have bows or they will be less accurate with the shooting. It is winter now. All right, everybody else should be a shooter. Yeah, we still have our sweet dwarven trophy axe. Uh, animals, you guys don't need to be restricted right now. All right, there you have it. Now, one thing we're going to want, orders, security, I'm going to go ahead and try and make this a little more secure in here so that if people do get through, they get shoehorned where we want them to be. And don't just get to rush us. And we'll just put one of those there. So they should come at us from these spots. And we can stand behind these and shoot them. How did that go? Holy shit, you see how fast those walls go up? <laughs> Alright, now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds we need. What's this? Plain leather. That's boring as hell. Dwarf leather. That's better. So furniture... Dwarf leather, there you go. And we can make four this way, it looks like. One, two, three, four. Shit, hopefully we can get eight beds in here. Human leather, 113. Do we have any other dogs? No, that's right, we don't. 192, there's some material down here. Uh, oh, good deal, we finished leader armor. Shaman apparel we're definitely going to need at some point because his gear is going to wear out. But for now, we're going to go for weapons. And we're going to go for dog leather. I think there's already a bed under there. One, two, three, four of those. Yeah, we can't quite do five. We can do two bird, bird skin, one, all right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there you go. How hands is fully healed, human leather, we have a ton of it yet, so let's do one more of those out of human leather. Human, we're going to need more bed spots once the... Why didn't these get built? No, they will. Okay, good. So then let's just deconstruct all these. Boom. Because they should have beds down here now. And a nice cozy temperature. Oh, we're getting so close to getting this herdstone done finally. Hey, look, all those got built. That's nice. Looks pretty cool, right? Seems kind of beast man to use those. I should have just staked the whole camp, not built walls, in retrospect, but 
I guess it is what it is now. We're going to need to find more steel at some point, man. It's also going to be a liability to have anybody doing any mining anywhere. So once we get raided next time, they might just get killed. What is that? Mineable sulfur. What is this? This is Gromrel. <laughs> oh, you can make Gromrel weaponry. It's going to raise our value quite a bit, though. I don't know if that's such a good play. All right, I'm going to set up some mine jobs. Usually on these maps, there's just steel everywhere, but apparently there's not here. So vein miner. Boom. What's that? Oh, shit. Yeah, there's a lot of steel there. So let's mine through here. We might get an infestation, but it feels like a challenge if we do, right? All right. Look at that. Everybody's got a nice toasty bed. What are you thinking about things right now? Uh, slightly impressive barrack. He's not happy about that. <laughs> He doesn't like sharing a room. Disturbed sleep, slept in the heat. I guess we could hold the door open. Everybody's a little too hot, but would you rather be too cold? One thing we could do now, not the most beast man thing, but we could vent these together and get rid of some of these fires to get the heat to level out a bit. Well, at least our food's frozen. Oh man, we are so close. So we're going to need dead bodies. And we're going to start getting raided fast. And we're going to get more people joining us. Now the downside is that it really starts cutting into our food supply fast as well. Do we want to do any hunting? All, our, all the wildlife usually pisses off when, uh, when there's a cold snap. Volcanic winter or whatever. I really like how it looks with bare trees. I think only the evergreens actually have leaves anymore. Yeah, that's super cool. Is even dandelions growing yet? We could and probably... Okay, so we are totally out of meat now. The berries have all died. Yeah, we're going to have to find meat to get us through this winter. That's a bit problematic. There's tons of hill root. Which we did actually go through quite a few. Get a bunch of those harvested. That definitely needed to be toned down, so I turned it I toned it down significantly. What is that? There's a little JT's on a tantrum. He's gonna smash shit in his room. Where's he at? Oh, JT's a Cygor. <laughs> Here's a Cygor. He's having Cougar is hunting Rakestra. Well, that's not good. Where is Rakestra? He's right there. You dudes draft up. You come around a corner and help out. Oh, shit. Boonax just popped into a... Son of a bitch. You don't even have a weapon, Hellhands. I like to point out that you don't have a weapon right now. Oh, shit. Rakestraw is now being attacked. Cougar is revenging on him. Maybe we can get it to... Ah, yeah, there you go. Somebody finish it off. You better go get tended, partner. There you go. Good deal. There's a little meat for whatever it's worth. You're still smashing shit in somebody else's room now. Rakestraw, who actually needs to be tended right now. You're a dick, JT. <laughs> this is how I talk to my patrons. I just mean this guy. I don't really know JT the patron. Alright, give it up. He just rebuilt that. Alright, good. He's back. Insulting spree because he needs violence. Okay, so that is an interesting one. Who's on an insulting spree? This little bro needs... He's obsessed with violence. He needs to do violence so bad. He's at negative nine. I haven't hurt someone for too long. Violence is all I can think about. All right, well, that solved it. Look, they got in a fight. <laughs> oh, they really duked it out. Where'd you get a joint? Oh, Jesus. Rescue him. He didn't even get to smoke the joint. He just went down. Can I just select these? Yes, I can. Are you going to smoke it? Yeah, you are. <laughs> What's going on over here? Oh, that guy's getting tinted. Now we have another social fight. <laughs> This feels like a bad idea for the Ungor. He's going to get himself flattened. 
And that dude's still walking around like a moron. Is there... Yeah, let's do some more mining down here as well. We can tidy this stuff up a bit. All right, someone's now sick from eating pork. Okay, right as this gets done, that's great. Uh, Dirt all your putts, get over there and finish it, dude. You're like a butt hair away, seriously. And dun 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 dun. We have a herdstone, people. And immediately a wanderer joined. And at least he came with cold weather gear. He's got himself a fur mantle. Ooh, he came with a little Ungor Mall. That's always going to be the first event you get, right, when you build it. If you don't have a Bray Shaman, that event will give you a Bray Shaman. We have some empty beds, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go check his work situation. He's not a doctor. I don't know why they sent him to doctor. What is this? Cook? You're not a cook. Hunt? You're not a hunter. Art? We don't need art in this stinking colony. Oh, my God. Well, he sucks. What do we need? We need... Beastmen suck it. Anything that seems like it would be worthwhile. <laughs> so, Alright, I guess he's just going to end up out on caravan. You can actually come over here and equip one of these little Ungor shields. When you get around to it. Who didn't have a weapon? That dude that was wandering around lost. He does have a weapon. I don't know what happened there then. But we could get the Gore shields now. We can't make big shields for the Minotaur, but I think they'll be able to equip the little shields. What are you doing? Consuming kibble, okay. Well, there's a shield for you when you're done. When you get up, sir, there's a shield for you. We're not even really paying attention to the quality of these shields, mostly because they're all poor. We have a whole freaking slew of fun gores here. This dude doesn't have a weapon either. And he was a melee bro. Is he on his feet? Yeah. Come over here and equip that. And then equip that. And it's Neg 7. How is that treating you? It, you are getting hypothermic. This holding one door open really boned it up. I guess it's either be too hot or be too cold. Corneal is fully healed. That's good. No permanent injuries. Naguk is going to go hide in his room because he's in minor pain. Might be time to eat the harpies, actually. There's a mega sloth about. Alright, that seems like a job for these two bros. Uh, ooh, yeah. Back to crude great weapons. There you go. And give him the business. Between the two of them, they should be able to hit it, right? Uh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if that's as loud on the video as it is in my ears. But holy shit. No. Are we going to have to go punch the damn thing? I just want to wound it. Should be able to shoot right over this. Getting real close to our own people here. Alright, he wandered out of range. Jeez, that sucked. You guys are horrible with the aiming thing. Alright, give him the business. Insulting spree because he's a night owl. Okay, that we can fix. Assign, restrict, anything. Yep, that was unintentional. Sleep there. Copy this one. Paste it in. There you go. Hey, they finally hit the bastard. Did they wound it well? Yeah, reasonably well. One more toss. Come on. Hope it's not going for rake straw. He's had enough problems. Alright. Punch it. Ah, so bloody close. Rake straw. Run. Run. These two guys got... Oh, I told you guys to come punch it. Okay, they're just cooling down from there. There you go. No, he's going to assist with the bow through the woods. I think he just hit Corneal. No, he didn't. Good. All right, how are we doing here? Hit it with the rock, you dummies. There you go. Meat. Meat? That much meat is not going to feed this many dudes. Look at that. We've already gone through all that kibble we had. I'm starting to get a little worried again. 
And this is why you need to grow food. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what are we going to do? You know what we are going to do? We're going to put a door here. We're going to move these things around. I'm going to have to go around and kill any food that's on this map. Can I just pop a door in there like one of these? Yup. There you go. Very nice. Okay, now we just need to get raided because that would actually supply some food in the form of humans, what we could eat. Oh, there's muffalo. Sweet Jesus. Now, our usual hunters are injured. Why are you going to get tended, dude? Did you get tended? No. Seamus, what are you working on, buddy? Okay, Wake's going to tend him. I need you to go get tended. Let's quit screwing around. Seamus. Get in there. These guys got to get out and kill Muffalo so we can eat. Sad wander. Due to intense pain. I should be writing these dudes down. I guess it's going to be obvious. Oh, yeah. You got to fight with somebody else. Alright. Are they really tired or something? No, but they're hungry. But there's nothing to eat. All right, let's go over here and see if we can't kill these dudes. It's almost easier just to punch them than it is to screw around trying to throw those stones. Corneal's fully healed. That's good. He's about to starve his ass to death, but okay. I think what we're going to do is just team up on these guys. Is that one? No, it's not dead yet. I don't know where the hell it is, but it's not dead. Oh, you guys suck. Alright, it's down. So one of you finish it off. I don't know if this is the most beast man thing to be doing, but <laughs> somebody come out here and haul that. We need the food bad. Maybe we should go back to making meals. It seemed like when we were making meals we had tons of food, right? Nice. It didn't even slow down on me there. That was perfect. Finish off. Get him brought in. Come punch this one. You stupid muffalo gotta quit hanging out in our neighborhood, man. Or maybe just bring more next time, because we are so hungry. Muffalo revenge. Nice work. You've done the job. Everybody go get tended again. <laughs> Alright. There's some meat. Look at this. It's already getting butchered, in fact. Oh, that's from the Mega Sloth. So we don't have any berries. That's the issue. We need simple meals like nobody's business. You know, another thing we can do is just go ahead and cook simple meals. Right out here. There. That should get a couple guys working on it. And we have this fat we can use in these meals too. I think we actually have to tell them to use the fat though. Yes. I'm surprised we haven't been raided yet. We need to get everybody tended up. I don't like all these dudes wandering around out here either. Rakestraw is probably going to die when we do get raided. There should be a bunch of meds laying around though. You know what? I think as soon as they drop them on the ground, dudes run out and grab them. Yeah. We have so many haulers because <laughs> these men are terrible at everything. All right. Who's going to come tend this, bro? You're going to. Where's Wake? Wake's over here. Go tend him. This guy did get tended, right? Yeah. Yeah, we need to get some dudes on the road. It's hard. Maybe I should increase the amount of foraging beastmen can do. Maybe that'd be a decent play. All right, well, we're getting meals because we have two people cooking. I'm tempted to just make another stove in here. It's not a bad idea, really. Oh, we have tons of meat, so that's A-OK. -okay. All right, we should get a fair amount of meals out of that. 28 from that. Another 15 from that. And we still have another one to butcher. Nothing else to hunt, though. 
So we're going to be in trouble if, if we don't get raided and get some food here. Is anybody on a mental break yet? Just Rakestra. And we are getting steel. How much steel? We have about 1,600. We did finish something. Let's see. Wargore shield. Ah, uh, you need a skill of six. And we probably need components for that. No, just 100 wood, which makes sense. We do have components somewhere over here. There was some ancient technology in the form of organ guns, high elf bolt doors, Skaven warp lightning cannons. Oh, God, if only summer would come back. <laughs> I may have to block off an area and just grow crops. Those dudes are doing okay down there. I think everybody's tended. What's Ethan's beef? He got into it with an Ungor. <laughs> he got his jaw cracked by an Ungor. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. So what we need is our Smith bro. What can we make that'll get his skill up? Bray staffs, morning stars, cudgels, picks. There's so many things we can make. Let's make some let's make a couple Ungor spears. The one we have is pretty shit. And then it, we can actually just take this out and dump it in the water. Steel crude axe. We're researching great weapons, so we'll have Bestigor weapons. Which you can use with a shield, but it really weighs the pawn down to do so. so yeah, so even with two guys cooking wide open, we can't keep up with the meals. We got. I'm tempted just to send some people on the road and sort of uh, call the herd, if you will. <laughs> Because, seriously, we're just dying here. I'm going to keep an eye on this, but we're not hunting boom rats in this forest biome. That's going to be a shitty play. Yeah, i got to check the time here. Well, cheers once again to the patrons. Dirtle, Dave, Cornel B, JT, Seamus, Michael Rakestraw, Wake Mata, Ethan Dees, and Frederick. You guys are awesome. Everybody else, thanks for watching. Think about some support. It's just a couple bucks a month to be highly motivating. You can see this mod definitely changes your rim world experience. First off, just trying to manage this many freaking pawns. There's our first raid. It's the dwarfs. So there's two types of raids we're going to get. We're going to get a strong raid and a weak raid from the herd stone. I don't see any slayers in that bunch. You can generally tell a slayer based on his weapon. So if you do this, and you know, oh, wait, what's this? Are you a slayer? Are you a female slayer? Yeah, female dwarf slayer just showed up. Nice. Well, anyways, we're not dealing with that this time. We're on the way out. We need to start feeding bodies to this so we can start getting the favor of the gods. We'll be able to get corn and Nurgle until it auto upgrades. And then, yeah, yeah well, you, you'll see. Either way, I got to look at that air that keeps popping up. I also want to look at what's up with the trap situation. So thanks for watching. Please give me a like. Please, pretty please think about some support. Even just buy me a coffee on Ko-Fi, dude. If you want updates on the mod, go ahead and go over to the Discord because I post over there in the updates section most every day. I'll see you guys next time.